Welcome back to another video. In this tutorial video, we will be looking at how to plot histograms using Python. Histograms are graphical representations used to show the frequency distribution of a given data. It is like a bar chart but not the same. Before moving forward, I would highly appreciate if you could take a moment to hit the like button and smash that subscribe button and turn on bell notification so that you don't miss any updates. Stay tuned. So the first thing to do is to import the required libraries. So let's import matplotlib library. For this tutorial, I'm going to plot the age of people coming at a restaurant. So I have a sample data over here. So this will be our data. To plot a simple histogram, we can just type plt.hist and then pass the data. And as you can see, a simple histogram has been created. The function automatically generates bins for our histogram. And in this case, the function has generated 10 bins. The first array gives a frequency of the different bins 2, 1, 5, 1, 2, 2, etc. And the second array gives you width of all the bins. To manually give the bin number, I can just type in the number of bins required. If I want 5 bins, I can give bins equal to 5 and the data will be arranged into 5 bins. Now another way to set the number of bins is to set the range for the bins. That is if I want the bins to be in a specific range, I can type in bins equals and give the range for the bins. Here I am going to give it as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 and 70. So this is my bin ranges and I can just pass it into the histogram plot.hist and then the data and bins equal to the bins. So as we can see our data is plotted in the defined bin ranges. Now since most of the objects have frequency of 3, we cannot see the bin outlines properly. To see the bin outlines properly, we can define an edge color. And if we run it, now we can see the bin outlines properly. Now another way to see the bins properly is to change the relative width of the bins and this can be done by using the R width parameter. I am putting the bins back as 10, R width equal to 0 0.9. Now this will set the relative width of all the bins to 0 0.9. 1 is the maximum width available. So as you can see, you cannot see the outlines properly. So I'm setting it back to 0 0.9. Let's put the edge color back on. Okay, so now let's add the X label, Y label and title for our histogram. Our X label will be age of people and our Y label will be the number of people. And let's give a title as age versus number of people. Let's change the color. To change the color, we can use the color parameter. Now, if we want, we can add style to our graph. There are different kinds of styles available in the matplotlib style guide. This is a matplotlib style sheet reference and we can use any one of the style. For this tutorial, I'm going to use ggplot. So to add style to our plot, we can just type in 
child dot use and as we can see the corresponding style has been applied okay so so far we have plotted a histogram with a single data set now let's look at plotting histogram with multiple data sets so for this i'm using both the age of men and women at a restaurant age of men age of women so this will be a data set and let's plot the graph so since i have two data sets over here i'm going to pass it as an array specify the number of bins i want to put two different colors to identify it separately so i'm passing the colors also as an array and the relative width let's give the label and there we have a histogram with multiple data now let's change the size of the plot to change the size of the plot i can just type in So now we have changed the size of the plot. Now let's add some legend to our plot. We can set the label and plot dot legend. We'll set the location as upper right. So there's a legend. Now another method to plot multiple data is by using the overlapping histogram. Now let's see how we can plot the overlapping histogram. Now let's plot the graph. As we can see now we have an overlapping histogram. But in this case we cannot see the bin values properly. So to make the bin values more clear let's change the alpha value. Now alpha value is used to change the transparency level of the bars. And if you run the cell, oops. now we can see the bin boundaries more clearly. Now instead of bars, we can also plot the histogram as a stem. To do that, we need to change the histogram type. By default, the histogram type will be bar and we'll change it to step. Now, as we can see, we have a step histogram. Now, instead of plotting the histograms together, if you want to use the histograms as a subplot, we can do that also. Subplots are used to arrange multiple plots in a single window. The syntax for a subplot is M, N, and P. What this will do is it will split the graph into an m by n grid and display the graph at position p. So if I want to plot four plots as a subplot, I can set the grid to 2 by 2. So 2, 2, 1 will be the position of first plot and 2, 2, 2 will be the position of the second plot, etc. In our case, we want to stack the plots horizontally. So for this, I am using 1 by 2 grid and setting the plots at position 1 and 2 as follows. You can also use a 2 by 2 grid and set the plots at position 1 and 2.
and let's plot the graph and there we have our two graphs plotted side by side now as we said earlier this can also be plotted using a 2 by 2 grid so instead of 1 by 2 I am putting a 2 by 2 grid this will yield the same result Now if I want to plot it diagonally, I can just change this number. Now let's do the same thing but from a CSV file. So to do that, first we need to import pandas library. Import OS to set the path directory. And copy the file path where our data is stored. Now let's import the data in a data frame. Age data Now let's see the data using the head function. We can see our data. Now to plot the data I'm just copying this code. And let's change the input. Data frame and column name. And we have our histograms. Let's do the same thing for the step histogram. And we have a step histogram for a CSV file. That brings us to the end of this video. Hope you got an idea about creating histograms in Python. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to drop a like and share this video if you found it useful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.